Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin charts as Bitcoin's price continues to chop sideways and really the bulls and the bears each have their line in the sand that they need to hold. So with that being said, let's get right to the charts. And we will start over here on the Bitcoin USDT daily candles on the Binance exchange. And as you can see, Bitcoin's price for the last couple of weeks has essentially been chopping sideways in a zone between basically these two lines you see drawn on the chart. And the bulls are looking to defend the 29.5 level that would be down here. And the bears are looking to defend essentially the 31.5 level, which would be up at the top of these wicks. And if the bulls can breach above the 31.5 level, get a candle to close above that, then the bulls could have the momentum to continue to push the price higher. However, on the flip side, if the bears can crush the price down below 29.5, again, we would need to see a candle close below 29.5, then the momentum more than likely would favor the bears and the price could then sell off even further. Now, something else we could take a look at would be perhaps a ascending triangle which would be a bullish pattern and I would need to see a few more touches in order for this to really be a valid ascending triangle. However, it is setting up. So if the Bitcoin bulls perhaps could push this price back up into the 31.5 level and then the bears once again step up with the sell pressure back down and then perhaps the price of Bitcoin will continue to chop but get tighter and eventually Bitcoin's price can either break out towards the top side or of course it could always break down. Either way, the Bitcoin bulls or bears each need to hold their respective line if they hope to gain control of the battlefield and push the price in their desired direction. Now, if we drop in our auto fib retracement indicator, we can start to look at some price targets. Obviously, for starters, the first one that stands out is going to be the 786 level, which is coming in at 29,673. So, call it right around that 29,5 level. You can see the 786 is acting as support currently. But again, if continued sell pressure pushes that price down below and we get a close below the 786, then the bears are more than likely to push the price down to perhaps this 618 level, which is going to come in at 28.6. Or perhaps Bitcoin's price could dump even lower, maybe back to the 50% level, which would put it right around 28,000. In this case, it's 27.9. But with continued sell pressure, Bitcoin's price could head back down here to the 382 level. So we'd be looking at around 27,000. After that, then we're looking back at around 20. 26,000 or as low as the last lower low and that would put it right around 25,000 and it's important to note that a lot of these targets are actually psychological prices they're either 29,000 even or 28.5 those are going to be psychological levels so if the price breaks down below a psychological level you tend to see a stronger move down in this case now, on the flip side, if the bulls can push Bitcoin's price above 31.5 and get a close above that 31.5, the next target they would be looking up at would be the 1272 level, which is coming in at 32,686. So somewhere around that 32.5 to 32.7 area would be the next target. After that, it's pretty much open air up to almost 35,000, which is the 1618 coming in at 34.8. So from 32, call it 5, up to 35,000 could be pretty much undefended territory for the bulls to push up to. But obviously first they need to get the price above 31.5 and then of course above the 1272 at around 32.5. But if they're able to reach those two levels, then the 1618 up here at 35,000 could be the bulls next target. So I think that's enough jaw jacking for this video. Both the bulls and the bears have their respective lines they need to hold. 
if they want to win this battle and if anything changes over on the charts i will definitely do an update video so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those future videos if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comment section down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video